What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Audition. This is going to be a new series on the channel. I want to show you guys this software because a lot of the stuff that I do in Premiere Pro when I'm editing a video has to do with Adobe Audition. And this is going to be actually audio and video as you can see this is a QuickTime movie but it doesn't matter you can import audio or you can import a video. So I'm going to select a video, we're going to select file, new, and then we're going to select multi-track session. Once we do that we can name it, we can also name our folder where the location is going to be. I'm going to leave this and select OK. It's going to ask me if I want to write over what I had before. I'm going to select yes. Right over here is the multi-track session. Basically, if you want to dub in, say, like a voiceover over music, this is what you would use. You want a multi-track session so you have the various layers here. If you want to go back to where you can just see the actual audio with one file with the video, you're going to look over here. Something really quick to show you guys, you can actually do a quick fade in. It's very simple. You're just going to click over here. You'll drag this box onto the right. You'll do the same thing over here for a fade out, but you'll drag this to the left. So it's really easy to do a fade in and fade out in Adobe Audition. Now this software is not really meant for editing a video, but once I take this video clip and I bring it out to the timeline, what it will allow me to do is see the video on the left hand side. So if you're trying to match up the audio with your video, you'll be able to scrub over on the timeline and see what you're doing. Now one more thing I want to show you guys is how to add effects to your audio. It's very simple, we have an effects menu over here and you can select various things. I noticed one thing I really like to use, again, in another tutorial, I will explain this, but if you want to remove noise and everything, this is a great effect. This is called noise reduction and restoration. We come over here, we can select adaptive noise reduction. I'm gonna press spacebar really quickly to show you guys the audio playing. About that. You know now while that's going on and you're playing the audio, you can start making the adjustments. And as you're making the adjustments, you're gonna be able to hear what it's doing to the audio track. Noise reduction is really helpful, especially when you're cleaning up your audio. I'm going to close that out. Just to explain a little bit more what you have over here, you can rename the tracks as you want to. Just click over here, left click. If you want to mute one of the tracks, all you have to do is press M. You can also balance the audio, so you can move this over to the right channel or the left. You can also lower the volume of the track like that. And these are some helpful tips. Obviously over here you're going to see things that you're familiar with, whether you want to play, you want to go back from a track, you want to move forward, or you want to rewind it. And also you can start recording if you do have a mic plugged in. Over here we have the media browser. You can start looking for files throughout your computer. I want to show you guys one more effect because I think it's pretty cool. You guys are familiar with reverb. All you have to do is go to effects, select reverb, and you can select one of these options. And you can start making adjustments right away. Again, you would press spacebar while you're making the adjustments. And you'll hear what it sounds like with your audio. And also exporting your project is really easy. If you just want to save your project, you're going to go to file, save as and then you can select the name of your file and then you can just save it. So that's pretty simple enough to save your project. And then if you want to export your project as like a movie or even the audio track, you're going to go to file, export, and then you're going to select multi-track mix down and select entire session. Once we have the entire session selected, you can choose the format. You can either select MP3 or you can even select QuickTime like the original video is in. So it's really simple to export your project. A lot of cool things you can do in Adobe Audition. So that's your intro tutorial in Adobe Audition. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're editing audio with your video, let me know in the comments so I know if you guys want more tutorials about this program. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.